Welcome to Ollie's Repairs. I'm in the middle of replacing some brake lines and pieces on this VW Cabriolet. Being in the rust belt, we had quite a few rusted lines that we needed to remake. So I purchased some equipment to remake those lines. I'll be showing you today how to do that. And then I'll also be reviewing some of the equipment as well. Stay tuned. The tools needed for this repair are gonna be some 3 16 inch brake line, brake line nuts, a tubing cutter, a deburring tool, and finally a brake line flare tool. Here I purchased a spool of some brake line off of the internet and I also have this tubing cutter. So you need to use a tubing cutter to cut this brake line so that we get a very nice precise cut. If we don't have a precise cut, it will never seal properly. So first step, get your tubing cutter on the line, tighten it down. I have a little marking here that I'm trying to go after. All right, tighten it down, spin it a few times. All right, so we have the line cut now, but as you can see, this cut is kind of gross on the inside. So the next step will be to take a deburring tool that I have here, and just carefully deburr the lines. Then we'll deburr the other side as well. All right, with the lines nice and deburred, now we can get to making our bubble flare end. For that, I purchased this tool right here so next what we're going to do is we're going to dip our line in a little bit of grease. It's more important for when you're utilizing a stainless or even a steel line so we protect the tool. But I like to do it anyways, try to make my stuff last as long as possible. And here I have the 3 16 inch die. We're going to use this DIN side here and just lay the brake line in the die. Lay the die on it. You can close this down. Tighten this just until it barely contacts. All right. And then the next thing we'll do, we'll have this on operation zero. And then we will engage the turret one time. Next step, tighten this down nice and snug. Then turn it to operation one. Hold the vise. Ideally, it would be mounted in a bench. And then. Run operation one. Undo the clamp. And you have a perfect bubble flare. Okay, so we have two ends obviously to this brake line. So don't forget to put on your brake line nut. So I purchased some stainless steel nuts. So slide this one on, then we can slide the second one on for this side. Same thing, repeat the procedure. And again, a perfect bubble flare. A quick discussion on the different types of flares. You have a single flare which is on the left side of this image and that's not used on vehicles. Then you have a bubble flare and a double flare. On VWs and some other makes as well, they use the bubble flare which is what I had to make today. The first option to make brake flares is this tool here. It's really nice, it's small, you can actually flare lines when on the vehicle. However, the problem is it does not make a bubble flare. It only makes double flares, so that's why we can't use it on today's video. This tool is probably the most common that people use to make brake flares. It makes double and bubble flares. However, it's not that user friendly. You end up clamping the brake line in that little metal piece, and then you use the gear puller like thing to screw down on it, which ends up forming the flare. However, often you can get the flare a little bit crooked and it's not made perfectly, and then it can result in a leak. Problem is, the only time you'll notice it's leaking is after you've completely completed the repair, then you have to basically start over again, which is why I did not want to use this tool. Finally, we have the tool that we use today. This tool works extremely well. You're able to clamp the brake line in perfectly straight, and then by activating that big lever one time, it can make a perfect flare. It also doesn't only make bubble flares, it can make double flares and a couple other types as well, so you'll be covered for a long time. The tool works so well, it's a little bit more on the pricey side, 
But honestly, if you can use this to remake all your brake lines and not have to go to the dealership or pay a shop, it's going to be a well worthy investment for a long time. Since you made new brake lines, you're going to obviously have to reinstall them and bleed them. Make sure to torque any brake line unions to 11 to 15 foot pounds and then bleed the brakes. I've got a video on how to do that properly. As I've said in some of my other brake repair videos, we did brake work today. Brakes are extremely important to stop your vehicle. Make sure you pull out in the driveway, test your brakes in the driveway by hitting them hard, making sure there's nothing leaking, no weird noises, anything like that. Once you've made sure everything's safe and you've buttoned everything up, enjoy your vehicle for a nice ride. Thanks for watching another episode of Ollie's Repairs. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment for more.